and now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. Some great scenes here at the Coit, nor would you expect anything else from a ground with its particular reputation. So we're almost there, all one can see, a look of utter focus in the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin? What will they be thinking as they wait for this? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. So what are we to expect in this final? Cristiano Ronaldo! They've managed to get it away. Battles to win it back. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo finds himself offside. Quick pull forward. Feinaldum, Hakimi, Paris Saint-Germain couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Bernardeschi. Danilo. And here's Chris, it's Cristiano Ronaldo! He's delivered all right! What a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on. This could be rather exciting. That was a given. It always was. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from the right city. Juventus take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Alexandro. Dybala just brushed off the ball there. Defence has got rid of that. Sergio Ramos plays it over to the other flank. Mbappe! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Cristiano Ronaldo.
Ronaldo, not one to pass up the chance to run up the defence. He loves those duels. It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! No mistake! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Juventus have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now, the command has been established. Played out to the right. And here's Neymar. And here's Messi. Messi hits it! Made it short. Hoists it forward. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Oh, he's put too much on it. Sergio Ramos. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Neymar, he's tried one. Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Messi! And it's played forward. It's Messi. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Gets the better of his man. Finds himself eased off the ball. Yeah, that does look a foul if he's given a free kick. Arthur. Oh, that's nice. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. It's Danilo. Plenty of hacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Forward it goes. Hakimi. And here's Messi. That's really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's through and all alone! This is gone and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So we've had the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? Juventus have the lead. And obviously it's going to be the happy address room at half time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half time. Juventus sitting pretty here at half time, 2-0 up. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Now it's Dybala. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? He's left his man. Alexandro delivers. Defending of the desperate variety. Well weighted. He gets past his man. Bentancur tries to get it forward quickly. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Ronaldo gets it out to the wing. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature.
Mbappe. Bonucci trying to run down the left wing. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's been intercepted. And that will come to nothing. Hakimi tries to get it forward quickly. Bernat. And it's Neymar. Mbappe. Dybalik will set up two goals. Hoists it forward. Keylor Navas chooses to deal with it himself. He's picked him out. Now it's Dybala going through. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Lingered over it and the chance to counter had gone. Cristiano Ronaldo simply took an age to make his mind up, Peter, when urgency was the, the single requirement. And it's played forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Berdeski. Marquinhos cuts it out. Marquinhos goes looking. Dybala. Forward it goes. That's Verratti. Marquinhos. Feinaldum. And here's Messi. Messi! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Paris Saint-Germain get it back again. Goes for goal! Mbappe gets flagged offside. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Hoists it forward. Rapidly approaching the end. Just a few moments from glory. Dybalik with a long pass. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options. Around. It's Neymar! In he goes again! Berati is flagged offside. Paris Saint-Germain making another change here. Quadrado. Bentancur. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. He thought that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And that is it, the referee has seen it up. Simply, the big day was their day. A day for them and their fans, a truly proud line in their history. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory, another grand chapter to be 